Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as Montana Enclave. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but the Enclave doesn't go to heaven because we're raising heck. The parts from the east are worse than we've heard. Sentinel Honor control an empire of darkness with multiple points of weakness. Involuntary uh, worker barracks outside some paladin thrift's garage, where dead-eyed women and children strip old cars for anything of use. A former story and soup kitchen at an old airfield hosts the planes they call an air force. And for some reason, they built an arena where travelers engage in an animalistic instincts for the paladin's amusement, a waste of resources for all involved, sitting in a booth. Their brotherhood at least satiate their bloodlust in a manner unbecoming of descendants of the United States Army. Any of these targets would be great to hit, but we can only check one. Corporal, what are your orders? The brother really doesn't need those cars. I think of Army XP. Any weapon is an anti aircraft gun if the plane is on the ground. One booth, you say. One day, our enemies will stop standing within the blast radius of a plasma grave, but not today. One booth, you say, huh? Um. Let's go with that one. Let's see what that one does. Ooh, well, of course, Lord Lewis, I just restarted my save, and so, so we can start rec recording again. But right now, we are here at the top, and we're actually being cut off from the Strath commune, which is not good. So we're going to get our guys on the border, and hopefully we can move fast enough. We have no, like, manpower, which is really god-awful for us. But, uh, yeah. Um, give us a little bit more time, like, where we picked up pretty much where the end of the last episode was. And uh, we'll, we'll be there, and we'll be ready to go to war, and you know what? We're going to just do it anyways right now. Because this is not looking good for us. Hopefully well, we can get back over here. And we probably can. I'm just a little concerned for manpower. Um, we need more money too. Yeah, we're going to need to raise conscription or get some cores. But I'm waiting to hopefully destroy these guys first. Um, so that we... Because right now we're doing a gift from the secretary that we read last time. Oh, there's that one. Uh, just because we get down here, cleaning up the north... You might be able to core everything. Tolerance of different views. So, well, you might be able to get all that stuff done. You might not. I'm not really sure. I don't want to use up any of our political power before we really have to. So, if you're going to do this one again, please. Great. The greatest soldiers in America, of course. Yeah, no one can dispute that we're outnumbered by the monstrosities of America, but ma numbers matter a little when American power power is on our side. Oh, absolutely. Now, we're really out of... Oh, right. Control stuff, too. They're not advancing fast enough for us to really be concerned about that. Um, so, losses. They lost about 3,000. They've lost about 4,000. We've done only about 3,260, some of that, but whatever. Hey, a little more manpower. Look at that. Nice. Nordic, and there's a, some Mexican divisions down here, too. Okay, well, whatever. Fuel injection. Here. Get a blimp. Get a blimp. Got a lot of those guys done, too. We're done there for now. I'm sure we'll be back soon. Go and do that. Do we have... Alright, well, whatever. We're doing okay. They can't pierce us, of course. So they shouldn't be able to. Um, oh, greatest soldiers in North America. Eagle's wings. Yeah, you know, the Donkey success owes much to our ability to sweep the skies, the hostile traitors, and. Oh, crap. Uh, communists. We must double down on his efforts. Mindful that this is not war. It's pest control. Well, even if we wanted to defend ourselves, we literally have no divisions over there, which sucks. Because that's the way the peace conference worked out. And what do we have here? 24 scrap. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, we got plenty of water, but that's that's a crap ton of water. That's so much water, it's not funny. Here, just get over there. Great race. Alright, there's that. Honestly, can we just, like, march into the capital? We probably honestly just could. Nisku Leduk. Leduk. Dak. Duck is pretty good. Um, we only have 202. We only get 74 bottle caps a month, which kind of sucks. Whatever. Oh, they put a lot, few more divisions over here, huh? That's alright. There you go. Nice. Yeah, just help us take that out for now. Uh, infantry. You know what? Special forces. You can do that one next. That'd be pretty good. Oh, hello. North Redman, South Redman, lots of Redmans. Oh, they capitulate. Hey, there we go. Yay. Hey, 22 imp uh, improvised tanks, huh? But we do have a cup of tea here, too. Yay for tea. All right, so I want to be able to at least connect these guys. Yeah. Looks like that's about as much as we can take for now. We'll take all this. It's a bit better than I thought it would be. So now, 
And we'll beat up the middle mouths later too. Uh, yeah, there we go. Go! Hunting the dam. I heard this last time too, but the Uncle Clef's acknowledges lets us go forth and fight our enemies no matter the time of day or night. Darkness let, lets us cross Great Lale and I'll stop on my work. And you know what we're just gonna do? I could wait. Oh, this one's always good to do. Do you want to take him once? I feel like I always do this one. Recover energy cells, passive capture income. Ooh, they have pickle power. They have weekly stability increase. And I get two radar stations. That's not bad. Safe on radio bro. broadcasting? Wow. But I do want to do this one. Not going manpower. Weekly manpower. Plus 17 is pretty decent. Not fantastic, but it's decent. Um, one more operative slot. I like this one. Let's do this one. Ooh, even more, yes. Focus fire, nice. Flamers or frag grenades? Incinerators, auto. Ah, uh, as I would. Ooh, this is different. That's a different design. I'm gonna go with a different design. I think they'd use more frag grenades, but we'll do that one. See what you can do. How much airpower can we put through here? Obviously, not enough. For Northeast Alberta. Only 200 some? That's, is that it? We've lost. Oh god, dang it's glitched. No, I can't even see that. Dang it. Um, yeah, American hearts and real American minds. We're gonna settling veterans from Chicago out here. Accounts gain the lands for the first family for real Americans. Under the uh, roll, table out and still immense. So that gives the real Americans room to breathe. More people population. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Procurement of things, season patriotism. We got some comments to go through too. So, Jazz, uh, God bless America, time to bring freedom to the wasteland. Oh, you betcha. So it says, Amen, brother, glory to the enclave. Idiot savant. Spike is going to be bad. Going to capture is okay. Uh, it's like minus 20% organization loss and moving would be pretty decent too, actually. Do that one actually. So I'm gonna front of this one. We're gonna get more war support. How much do I want more political power? But the last organization also be pretty good too. Over here, we're gonna recover. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Combat blimps, solid air traps, just because we can. Why not? So, pretty much pain train, so. Yes. Cool. No man to the far north. Perfect. Well, this is the winter war. I read this last time, too, but just George Washington prevailed on the hardships of the Valley Forge. So, did we prevail on the hardships of occupied Alberta? Yes, sir. So, this is the seals and ruminators, huh? I like a train when they're done. Uh, who else? Oh, Nordicon. That's right. My bad. This is not going to be an easy war, but... Oh, well. C'est la vie. We should raise our cap a little bit more, but I still want to see what happens. Division for division. We should be... Oh, they're pretty thick. They have a lot of divisions. Oh my gosh. Bayou motors, flamers. Oh, let's get some more doggies. More oh, hounds. We'll see what happens. That's not, that's not bad. Uh, fire power for a fire people. So do the untrampled rebellious folks of the rockets. We need guns and lots of them. Let's go and save real quick. It's going to be very bad for us.
Attack us, we attack them, you know. Pretty good stuff overall. Realm of the Sister Gods. Oh, we're not winning here, huh? That's definitely oh, they have four divisions, what do you expect? Cover faster. Get the crap out of them. There you go. It's better. Good, these guys have been cut off already. Very nice. Very nice. And more cut off, too. Don't let them escape. Do not ever let any of them escape. Bonavista, huh? In, in. Nice. Good. Drills. Very good, very good, very good. Wait, what? Enforcements have arrived. I know we asked much of you, Agent Johnson, but you didn't think the Enclave would let you down, and you may find your new men rather familiar. Nice. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Good. Are they at war with someone else, too? Oh, turn mine, huh? Beautiful. what I kind of thought. Just conquered as much as we possibly can right now. Great. Any more damage done? Oh, 100 some. Beautiful. Hmm. Huge drop in organization. I love it. We need to send this gear package. Ah, that's worth doing. Monarch will be ours, and we'll go to where these guys and these guys and pretty much everybody. Good. Very good. Almost top of the line. We don't have the Uncle's best weaponry, but we don't need it. Compared to our heroic superior officers in the capital in Chicago. Uh, what we have is plenty for the savages. Let's go to war with that too. Our assault ships. Hey, look, we actually have some vampire now, yay! Not enough arm XP though, but whatever. Alright, you might as well go into Goddard, goodbye. No contest. Beautiful. Alright, so now we should be over there. We're really gonna need more divisions though. No prospectors, we got one too. I don't like drastic measures, grace table. So can't promote the node. Clean up the mess, crushing Nordic Ghana's siblings and giving us control of the North Mighty computer, but it's a shame that's so sticky. Ew. A cold wind blows! 
Let's be honest. Did you, any of you, really care about Canada, anyways? We're Americans. Not really, no. Look at all that we conquered. Oh my gosh. Montana's looking pretty bit bigger than Montana. Oh. And we're done with that. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, there's a lot of resistance up there. Reduce their use. Oh, that would be great. Tolerance of different views. Huh. Electrical extraction. Overall, not bad. Just five more days left for that one. Yeah. Flyboy. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have went earlier. Ah, here we go. <coughs> Some may say that the Norcon was a monstrous, alien, or an inhuman abomination. But we here in the Enclave know that's quite possible to work with it for some pur reasonable purpose. Indeed, uh, I think of all we've learned from it. Who needs a Zact when you have a biological and construction process and calculations using waste and gray matter? Waste, not, what not? Ooh, sophisticated electronics. So we don't get cores, which sucks, but... Nope. Uh, let this be our final bay. So it looks like we want to manually core everything, which is, you know, whatever. We'll get there. I'm not super concerned. I'm just concerned about how many more divisions we can make, because it doesn't look like we can make any more. Which really sucks. Um, because we can make rioters. They still have armor on them. 23 armor is not the worst either. Because these guys don't have a ton of armor either. But we don't have a lot of divisions here. Hmm. Cold wind blows, though. Yeah, we gotta get vertebrate technology. We really do need it. Oop, advanced power armor. Any complicated task can be broken down set that unskilled labor can do it. With the secretary's uh, support, we can use our wards to build vertebrates of our own. The darn Dakotas. I kinda wanna go there. Let's see. Rock purgers. Oh, looks like you have to do this one. Washington Brotherhood. Broken chain. Port Maw. I'll go to the. Damn Dakotas. So much of the Dakotas' life lies follow. Popular by Mewtwo who scorns riches. Let's reclaim it for the American people. No, I guess we'll go to war the Nespers. That's fine. Now we'll start coring around here. They're not going to be cheap, but whatever. Nice. There you go. They attack us? Okay. I wonder they'll attack us again, maybe. A letter MacArthur. Your neighbors in different steel, heed these words carefully, for this will be your only warning. Lay down your arms and surrender. We unlike, are unlike our brotherhood brethren. We are something more. We are the sisterhood of steel, our friend of all and, and to tyrants. We believe in fair unity and the relinquishment of needless violence or selfish claims, so that is why we extend this offer to you. Join us to build a greater home and feature by our side. Cave into insolence, and I promise that we will bury your remains in the mountains. You choose yours, a sentinel honor. Fair agreement? Never surrender to any opposition. Oh, crap! Bruh. Oh, we got laser rifles, man. It's a little too ahead of time for us, unfortunately. Alright, so... Um... I 
not good. Go, 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 god dang it, go. Oh, you're not even doing anything, what the heck? Getting down there. All right, so how strong are these guys? Sisters of Steel, Sentinel Honor, Military Background, 2,000 Manpower, up to 38 divisions, 15 of them being, 25 of them being Special Forces. Interesting. We do have some advanced power armor, but not a ton of advanced power armor, but not yet. They're going to war with us. Darn Dakotas. Call of Duty. Gone the Dakotas opens in many ways. Um, the chief among them, it opens up the possibility of direct communication with Chicago. Oops. Oh, crap. That's not good. Uh, well, we got to go in. A lot of divisions there. As long as the center guys can do whatever we need to do, that's what really what matters. Because it'll be spraying through, which is not good, but no, whatever. You can force the attack. You gotta get down here. Should be fine in the end. Should be. Core, just in case. Oh, that's expensive. We built up a lot of political power, so I'm not super concerned about it. So, not these guys do. What the heck? What's wrong with me? There we go. Cut some of these divisions off. That's good. That's super good. Very good. Where's the capital? Oh, it's all in Fairview. Jesus, it's so far away. At this point, we're almost playing like catch up with them down there. Not like catch up, but catch up. Should be fine overall, though. Air Doctrine. Yes. More max speed, more accident chance, though, but more efficiency and efficiency. Efficiency, yes. Never in Bighorn. Standing rock out of uses, but at the end of the day, the Lakota and the Sioux have always been thorns in the sides of the U.S. government. We must prepare them accordingly. Advanced power armor production. Although we will never match prowess or masses in Chicago, with support, we can produce some advanced power armor locally using relinquished labor. Exactly. Just trying to delete enemy divisions the best we can. Good. Good. Don't really need ballistic fibers, but we'll do it anyways because we can. Because, like, well, why not? Just get down there, you cut them off. There you go. Oh, they're surrounding us. It's not good. They're enemy divisions. Oh, we got sick of ourselves. That's not good.
Oh, can you do this one? Oh, you have to do one. Okay, that, that's interesting. Let's get the schematics first. Well, we'll come back up here. The old museum. Bozeman was once held to the American Computer and Robotics Museum at the time. We dropped some artifacts. Today, the old devices of the white lands, cutting edge and beyond. Nice. Go ahead and hold real quick. Energy. Oh, we're out of scrap. That's good. Yeah, I sent some water. That sucks. There's a lot of water that way, but whatever. That's up here. It's fine. That's very good core. I don't even care, like, what we core, just as long as it looks good. <laughs> there we go. Save some political power for now. Good. Good. And servos. It's fine. Ooh, did we lose it? No, we don't lose it. I saw that tile up there. Ah, good. This was a tough war, but, you know, we got through it. And it's a defensive war for us, finally. Ah, now they're completely trapped and they can't do drugs. I wish we could see how much we've done there, though. That'd be nice. Ah, our are gone. Nice. Ah, I do that one. Whatever. Pretty good. Furbish Highways. Montana's great highways have fallen in disarray, but Special Agent Johnson will spare no expense improving the lives of her citizens. Well, the army travel is, of course, a nice benefit. Ah, now we're over here. Beautiful. Oh, now I got the remainders done. Dang it. Hmm. Oh well. All the way to Fairview. One v one, can't pierce each other, which kind of sucks. Hey, we're not doing much damage though. Purpose highway is good. Sub designs tellurium, tellurium mines. Tellurium is one of the Earth's rarest metals, but invaluable for a complex metallurgy. By learning the first families of equipment, they can expand their mining operations and supplies with this precious metal. Oh, absolutely, they can. Brother was founded by a scum who deserted the greatest nation in our need, and that was changed. Let's protect Montana once for all. People of Montana were all a sense between you and the destruction of a great state. You have means occupying your homes. You should have conscripted another cult. Your wife or husband sent to the peanut battalion to mine for uranium. Of course not. That's why we're here to help. You're not my forefathers. Bruise and battered Mount Rushmore may be, but I still have some secrets. We should crush the idolaters. We we'll pretend to worship it and see it for ourselves. Forefathers. That one nice. Four fathers. One of the cons. Vault 27, whoa. Who's Vault 27? Seven. Huh.
Oh, here's the historians. How much money do we have? Not a ton. Sanitation stuff. More, more water. That's actually not bad. Armored speed stuff. Construction. That's not. I like doing that one a lot, obviously. But solicitations. Yeah, why not? Can't spare much now. No, we cannot. Scams for stuff, why not? And there's this one, Standing Rocks. The Enclave never forgets a slight to any American, you see? That's right up here. Yeah, the same plasma we watched use earlier than this one before. Well, the control is secured, and we can finally equip our troops with plasma weapons. Now, did you know that the Founding Fathers used such weapons to kill George III? Well, now you do. See the board. Valuable hatred. Digital decryption, fall flag stuff. No more manpower, but at this point, manpower is not really an issue. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a different. We have more now. Send more than... Oh, because we sent more than 25 water, 20 energy, and 20 energy. Scrap. Chicago's satisfied. Chicago, thanks for our service. Oh, I, I like that there's actually a cap. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. George Conrad. Thank you, sir. We quoted quite a bit, actually, already. Because even though we're only at what percentage, we're at seventy percent, which is not terrible. It's a little better than I think I thought that I thought it honestly would be. So, convoys neither rain nor snow shall rain, nor rain or gang shall keep the convoys of Missoula from the road. Ain't they a beautiful sight? And one day we're gonna roll this truck convoy across the U.S. of A. Nice. They're so quiet ahead of time. That's not bad to do, but still, let's save some money and not do it. Because at this point, I'm not concerned about manpower at all. But yeah, we're looking pretty good. Pretty thick. I love how thick we are. We're building America. New Arena's got thick as well. Wow. Legion is sucking hard against the NCR. Free Fighters are doing pretty good. Pretty well. Texas is really half, almost like half Mexican, or at least two thirds Mexican. I don't know. A third Mexican? Mexico's killing itself. What else is new? Uh, Atlanta's doing okay. The Order. Wow. This guy, Patriarch Jonas Montgomery. Huh. Well, they don't even need to focus on their own sucks. But whatever. Stand rocks. Northern Cons. How are the Cons doing? Amgalon? Amgalon? Oh, they don't even need to focus on darn it. That sucks. Then, what's next? Oh. Oh, we have to whip in some the Cree Reservation. Cree tribe are well, they're in their way. This is hardly the first time Rex had to deal with these Indians who pose such an obstacle. Reservation system. Oh, we're dealing with compliance gain. Uncle has a rival heir to the United States government, and as such, we have many rich examples to draw upon in existence. Which look to all America wants to see in the West to deal with our mean subjects. Pretty much. Amen. Um, so we need what? Crow Creek. 
Back to the Montana Enclave. Standing Rock needs to die, but we don't need to get the oracles on them. Our eyes in Canada. The Enclave, they say, is everywhere, and that includes up north, 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 where Agent Sigma stands on guard against commies, monarchists, and whatever else the guard Canadians are up to. Perhaps we should send some resources. No, I don't think we demand it. Just, oh. Oh, any more world tension to justify? Where the frickin' Enclave? What? What? What type of garbage is this? Okay, that just tells me we gotta use, like, a loud diplo or something. More world tension? Are you freaking kidding me, brah? That's really stupid. World well, tactics ain't bad, but that's that's really bad. Industrial fertilizer is pretty good, though. Um, just some more things we can do. Harness of Bozeman, Hot Springs, Heaven's Gate. Oh, come on. That's that's good. That's good. Uh, things. Heaven's Gate thinks the geothermal energy is a self miracles, but it's nothing that about American ingenuity. Special Agent Johnson will gladly provide heat and light to the refugees in town. New home for the old men. A detachment of Enclave soldiers. We remain on the West Coast of mercenaries, but perhaps it's time to call them home rather than waste their time serving the Los Salvatores with Van Graaff. After all, we think of no better men of Garrison Grant Company than these fine fellows. They're so long on the margins of the wasteland, Sergeant Grant and his boys found a home. Guitar Factory. Both of them are mighty guitar packed before the war, and craftsmen continue this tradition to this day. Although some of the songs are surprisingly unorthodox, you none can deny the sweet sounds they play. Agent Sigma. Canada is an American treasure before the war. Virgin coal, natural gas. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, water and other resources. Small wonder then that it's not commodities play a role in the Enclave's plans, even if they're not yet apparent for now. Agent Sigma operates to spy on the frozen north. But should he ever become more than a spy, well, perhaps we need to lead to help, lend a help in hand. Surely we can do more than the, with the riches of the north than a mad ghoul king. Wait for further orders. Apply the upgrade. A lot of upgrades to ourselves, huh? Well, we already got them all done. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, okay. Is that one? I see it on the board. We're the brothers of destruction. We have an opportunity to explore newfound access to the Missouri. Make our involvement in the Midwest much, much easier. We're the brothers of stockpiles. Common energy and advanced technical armor. Send south to Chicago. Well... Well, the Secretary of the Interior would prefer to gain all knowledge and information we have on the Brotherhood. We can make use of the resources here. Doing so, of course, we know the Secretary of the Interior, which is our superior officer. But we'll do this one. Secretary of the Interior. And if fighting men and women would appreciate anything we can provide about the Brotherhood, why not share it with them? Biker gang scrap. There was an ancient biker gang in the Dakotas before the war. We think they were called the Devil's Ang Angles? Perhaps there are strange driving patterns. Regardless, there are survivors going through the Enclave. Well, a mechanized army. Power armor alone, I'll say, America would be the courage and strength of our soldiers, along with me mechanized battalions. That give us victory. The Enclave's burden. Taking up the Enclave's burden, send forth the best you breed, go bind your sons to exile to serve the way sons need. To, oh, my bad. To wait in heavy hardness on fluttered folk and wild, your new caught mutant peoples, half devil and half child. We're going to Malta. Thank you for your service, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, what's going? They attack us, we attack them, who's not in love? Oh my god. And the special forces have died. And more divisions have died. Oh my goodness. It's a massacre. Literally a massacre of divisions. Oh my god. I wish we could see that. We can't even right click it to get rid of it. We did get two more divisions too, which is really nice. Cyber doggies. And then, uh, front-loaded assaults. Less defense, more ground-bombing target, close air support attack, interception attack, oh, heck yeah. Look at that, the triumph of experience. The APA is the first suit of power armor manufactured since the war, but a handful of prototypes which inspired the final designs of the Enclave, well, since the early days. We put it on the black, and follow the footsteps of Appalachia's heroes and veterans of the rig. Amen. Now we're back at 100% health stuff here, so you know what? We're gonna go to War Historians, too. 110 days? My god, that takes so long to do, but whatever. We can expand it that way, it won't matter too much to us. As long as we keep expanding this way, that's all that matters. Get Ardale. Ardale what? I'm just going to course this, it looks better. Manitoba. Yeah, we'll do one more after this one. Oh, oh, all right, well, wait. 
Nice. Zach's technology. Very good. Very, very good. One plus burden. What else we want? Uh, we'll do the mission. Pay the traders. Historians? Why not? Fate of the traders. Jackson, Buffalo, Rapid City. So where are these things? For standing rocks. Oh! Oh, West Bank's over there. Oh. Wasn't expecting that direction for some reason. Chancebrook Ladder. Probably don't need too many of those, though. We can make tanks, too. Why not? Oh. Fate of Traders. The mission is a screen flicker to lie. The Colonel. I wondered again why the secretary appeared like this. Um, but she said nothing as the old man spoke. So you ground the rebels under the heel at last, mm -hmm, he chuckled. They say a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, so of course you mean it's broken under American heroism. <coughs> Nevertheless, you are to be congratulated, Colonel Chase, Brigadier General. But the brother was there for a reason. I'm sure you can guess why. As rolls struggle in the heartland heats up, we need you, Brigadier. We need the Northern Commonwealth. A general next to the Brigadier flickered. I'm afraid your charge will need to contribute to a bit more of the reconstruction. The screen flickered off with a neon light of Chicago replaced by a single message God bless the Enclave. And God bless America. Ooh, more power, more attack, speed, and support attack. Change support from the Secretary of the Interior by 5%. Yeah, whatever. Look at that. Not bad. Through this. So we're doing that one, but Washington Brotherhood. Washington Brothers Court Territories, Broken Chains, Port Mall, Rock Purchers. Well, you know what? We might have to make a diversion, go all the way through the Pass Keepers, and take out the Silex Nation first. But these are the Dakotas, so I don't know. Bismarck, Rapid City, Tabernacle. Seems a bit odd to me, but whatever. These are still 100% world attention, which is decent, but we might, we're going to throw on the mod in the next episode um, where we just like, I don't know, not say core stuff, but like go to war faster. Because I did use a uh, lot of Diplo uh, to like do that, so. The next episode might be the last one, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Stay at Moose Jaw. Cargo plane? Because you can. And. Let's see it on the board! Brothers, destruction, an opportunity to explore newfound access to the Missouri will make our involvement in the Midwest much, much easier. Hopefully. Probably faster just about war goals times, but you never know. Better. You have more stability, you're so good. It's easy stability, you get more weekly, more daily political power, caps income. Why not? Oh, we got a lot of caps now. Ooh. Grace table. Nothing there. Over here, Missoula. Last Lodge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're here to please. That's aquifers. We're gonna do that one too. Let's just do that one too. I don't care. Oh, we're really against coal consortium. The fate of the coal consortium is most tragic. The brothers seized their land, drove out of their officers on the grounds to protect the children. No thought, of course, the countless waste centers down the river who rely upon the Dakota steel or anything else beyond their low game. With the brothers to feed, the question of the coal mines come to the fore. We can ship off some of the bank's coal down in Missouri to Chicago in exchange for additional weapons, or we can keep it here for our own industry. The River League is also offering lucrative economic concessions to settle the house bid, and finally, when possible, to restore the consortium's control of the region, but with new management. Whoever needs it. Oh my god. More advanced power armor and gunships. Settle the highest bidder of the River Leagues. We need it here. Let the consortium, coal consortium work under our guidance. The Whoever needs it. Needs it. Flash from the past. Almost every energy weapon in the West Sound is either once property of or based on the designs from the U.S. Army. Going through our arcs will make the weapons that won the Great War. Always outgunned. Always outnumbered, but never outgunned. There are many threats to America, mutants, brother traitors. 
and Mutant Brotherhood Traders. Ready to attack on our supply lines and commies striking our factories, but the American soldier will finish the job if we give him the tools. Job of experience. Yeah, I really want to earlier, so. Alright, sorting time. Go and rip them to shreds. As they try to rip us to shreds, but that's not going to work for them, so. They're all going to die now. And rightfully so. Uh, power armor is good. Infantry, good. That's not bad. We've got, got some good there. Uh, I guess more war support still. 70% is pretty decent. Pretty simple, but we're going to end it there and we'll resume in the next episode. If you enjoyed the video though, oh, or maybe we should read this first. Shelter from the storm. During the battle against the stormmongers. Oh my gosh. Uh, Team October came across what someone called a romantic story. Stormmonger warrior when that tangles that was wounded and nursed back to health by a Montana woman Nikki. When that tangles fell in love with Nikki and the two hit head from the war in a cave. Perhaps there's no escape in the past where Team October tracked him down when that tangles because he was wanted for killing a dozen civilians and sacrificing them to the storm father. Now, Ellen Santiago must choose. Will she spare the man who turned a dozen fathers into kites? Or will she punish a man who moved past his mistakes and wished to make amends? An easy choice usually, but the wind that tangles is the last sibling of their old seer of blinding hail. Might be benefiting gaining his favor. Oh no, my finger slipped on the trigger. Sure, there's no there's benefit to compassion. Who are you that do not know your history? The historians, a group of scholars and teachers who've been conquered. Now they come to MacArthur, begging for a new home. There's much to be gained from letting them in. While we know how to maintain advanced weapons and circuitry, some of the simpler arts are not really practiced in Montana. As such, the practical knowledge of farming can be useful to our citizens, but isn't there danger? They have a sadly corrupted view of history, a harsh negative view of pre-war America. And unfortunately, we lack the strength to correct all the errors. Colonel, what should we do? How dangerous could some historians be? Can't skip the resources for the warfare. That's what we're going to do. But if you enjoyed the video, like I said earlier, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with the Montana Enclave. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.